Okay. Now this is a 2001 VX Commodore sedan, 3.8 litre. Now I'll, I have to change this. I was going to document this whole thing for you and I just forgot. So I'll, I'll just go back a bit and tell you what I've done. I've got to change this tension up because it's flogged out. You can see the movement in it there. I could just keep this still. See that movement? It's just really bad and it's squeaking and it won't shut up. So what you do, you take, first of all, make sure your car's cool. Handbrake on and all that stuff. Disconnect your battery. Positive off, tuck it away out of the way. Second step, get a 15mm spanner. 15mm onto a big bar. Then the extension. And get it onto this pulley. I've taken the pulley off because the pulley is still in good nick. So you take that off there. And now this is a left hand threaded nut bolt. All right, they no uh, normally a, a left handed bolt has a, let's see, let's see here, has a, a groove around it, but this one doesn't. And that's because you have to, when you pull down on this, you have to pull down that way. And if it wasn't a left-handed thread, you would undo it. So it has to be an opposite thread, you see. Now, you don't have to take that off if you don't want to. When you order a new one of these, I got one off eBay. And it was $43. It came with the pulley. It was here in two days. So, then you've got to take your old no. Then you take, sorry, take your cover off. Just these four 10 mil bolts. This thing. Take those off. Under them, there'll be little washers. There should be four rubbers in there. Mine doesn't have it, but anyway. And just undo them four. That's easy enough. And just lift it out of the way. <clears throat> Take your alternator off. Undo this back wire. Um, while you've got it off, you know, you can check, spin it, and see if it sounds all right. Undo these two screws and if you like and pull out and check your regulator make sure there's plenty of brush your brushes are nice and long you just undo them and it'll come out like that sideways and then just make sure it's all clean and push it back in but that's up to you if it's working you don't have to mess with it it's just me I'm fussy um, the reason I'm making this is because I have this is the first time I've done it and I couldn't find anything on YouTube at all, so hopefully this helps somebody. So that's where we're up to. So take off the top, four bolts, disconnect the battery, 15 mil on this tensioner. Take a photo before you, you do that. Take a photo of how that belt goes on. You can find uh, images of how that belt goes on on the internet, but um, it's easier just to take a photo of it. Right. Because you might think you can memorise how that belt goes on, but trust me, it's fooled many a man and a woman. So where we're up to is now that what had me stumped, well, remember where these wires sit too. Once you get the alternator off, you've got to undo this bar here. It runs from here to the alternator, and then you undo this one and this one, which is this bar. Just take that off and undo the two bolts, it's just those two, which I believe is a 14 mil. And you can check things like your wiring and that way I got it off. I found a little nick on the back of that. I just got some tar covered tape and just covered that little nick so it doesn't touch anything. But when you're putting that alternator back on, Remember, this wire has to go under the alternator. If you've got it tucked away over here, then you've got to try and force it back in there, and I don't think you're going to get it, quite frankly. That big plug's pretty big. Now, I'm thinking 
I'm gonna have to undo this pipe. I hit this just disconnect it out of the way. That way I can deal with this insert here. That pipe there because it has to come out and go into the new one. This is the new one. And the part that had me stumped. Open this damn box. This is the one I got off eBay. $43. Comes with two seals, which I'm yet to find out. I've got a suspicion where they go. And brand spanking new with the pulley. I mean, how can you argue? 43 bucks, unreal. What had me stumped was this hole right through the middle. So that's where that pipe goes, see? Okay. So what I'm going to have to do, because I'm the only one here by myself, so I'm going to have to pause and show you, because see that in there? I don't know if you can see it. That looks like where the other, where that pipe slides in. See? So there's a piece hanging out. That's where your thermostat is in, in here. I'm not going to mess with that. That looks fine. So, all I've got to do, I've already undone this, which was a, these three here, came off here. One, two, and three holds that on. So one goes on first, then put this on, it's just an earth, and then put the other one on. I'm guessing one of the seals goes on there, and the other one goes up in here. Okay, now I'm going to get this off, this here. Let's get a screwdriver in there and pry that off. So it looks like I'm going to lose a bit of liquid here too. So you might want to get yourself a bottle of coolant if you're a coolant crazy person. I've got it a little bit in the shed there already, so I'm right. Okay, so I'm going to pause this and get this off and I'll show you where from, from there. Okay. I just took this off with a screwdriver. You don't have to undo this. Is that focusing? You don't have to undo that. It'll come off. This, and that looks like one of the seals there. But I'm going to see what's on this one. So that slides off quite easily. Like I said, that a bit of coolant did come out. So we'll move on and we'll get this off and we'll have a look. Okay, so I was right. See the coolant running out there? Because I disconnected this pipe off of here. So you're going to need some coolant. Just sort of let you know that. I know for a fact I haven't got enough. Anyway, I'll deal with that. Alright, so we'll get this off and I'll be back. Okay. So I just pulled this bolt out of here. It's a 15 mil. Hope that's focusing properly because I wear glasses and they're not the best. Now we want to undo this one here too, which I've already loosened, it's also a 15mm, put a ring spanner on it. Now, oh, the long one goes, or are they both the same size? Always measure your bolts, that's the first one that came out. That's the second, so they're the same, so it doesn't matter if we get those mixed up, as you can see. Let's put those aside and it's time to take off the naughty piece. Let's have a look at here, that goes over there somewhere. It's going to come out. Let's go here. Does that pipe go right through there? Is that what's going on? 
see. body of the tension up. I can't do this one handed. I'm going to have to pause. Sorry. Alright. Good news. Always. So this is how it works. This pipe is in the pack. I showed you. you get these two O-rings. One small, one big. Now that's where your small one goes, small blue one, because that comes right through the body. See that? That's what I couldn't work out. So what you do with that is that right, you hit it with the lawnmower at full revs, 15 horsepower Briggs and Stratton right on mower, and fling it into the neighbour's yard in bits. Love it. Love it. Now, we'll just have a look around here for any shit. I'm surprised that I only not long bought this car and he actually looked after it pretty good. Normally in here it's just full of all sorts of crap. But anyway, I won't rave on. I'll get the new part in because otherwise you'll... Righto. So, now it's a matter of reversing the procedure. So let me get the new one on and I'll be right back with you. All right, we've got the, the new pulley on, tensioner. Now a little tip, I put the new O-ring on the end of this pipe that runs all the way through into there. And if you can see that, it just runs into there. I changed the O-ring, it's just this little thing and I put grease on it. Now that pipe runs through there is aluminium, I checked it on a magnet. So, it's so either aluminium or stainless actually. Might be stainless. I think it is. Yeah, it is. And, um, so just sit your bolts back in. This needs a little, a little bit of a persuasion. Don't hit it on the end there. You can push it in with your hand. Just wriggle it in. Now, what I've done is tight, I've got that bolt in, tighten it up 15 mil, not real tight. And then I've got an alternator bolt because your alternator's got to line back up with this one. This one's not so important because it's nothing behind it. But this one goes into the head. So you can tap this down so that this is free. See? You can turn that still before you tighten this bloke here. So we're right to go. I'm going to tighten this up, get the pipes back on, and I'll be back. Oh. I've still got to change the O-ring on this bloke here. Right there, you can just see it. With this bit of grease, and we'll put it back in. So I'll be back.